everyone, my name is Sus Chief and welcome back to Horsebase Shrinkbreaker. Well, uh, today we gonna go for a big one, a uh, javelin to be precise. And I have to say, I really don't like that ship type. Um, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Uh, you're gonna see later why or what exactly. But yeah, it's, um, it's not my favorite ship, not at all. I usually, oh well, I, I do lose a little bit of uh, salvage here and then in this ship because it's really hard to get everything, but well, I'm gonna try my best today. Uh, maybe I can uh, show a few things, show a few tricks uh, that you can pick up as well. Uh, yeah, and let's hope I'm not gonna blow up this thing. Hmm. Well, either way. So, as you can see, there are three main parts. There's the reactor back there, there's the middle part of the fuel in the middle, and of course, there's the cockpit. Um, the cockpit is fairly easy to take apart, uh, nothing hard. Uh, it's not any different from any other cockpit, so yeah, I mean, you can do it right away, but, um, well, I would not recommend it. Um, my recommendation is go around and first of all cut all the stuff that you can as always from the outside of the ship. Why? Well, it's fairly obvious. You're not gonna lose anything if you're not paying attention and if the whole freaking thing explodes, at least there's some stuff already down in the barge. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're trying not to do that. Um, and well, I know I'm not as um, well reliable at the moment with my whole uplifting schedule. Um, well, that has two reasons. Um, first of all, I'm I'm still working. Uh, yeah, I know I have all the day, but uh, still freaking working. Uh, preparing all the lessons and everything for class uh, just takes a whole shit ton of time. Um, ah, wait, I don't have to fill up my oxygen, I still have uh, some left. Uh, yeah, it just takes freaking forever, which means um, it kind of interferes a little bit with my updating schedule. I mean, I'm trying to get a schedule back, but at the moment I just don't have the time. Uh, I worked like a maniac the past few days, so I just kind of get some free time to do that. Um, right now we're, I'm pretty good, so yeah. But until I figure out everything, I, it's, it's probably gonna stay this way. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try to upload, I'm really gonna try, but it's not gonna be um, every week or every two weeks like before. I just don't have the means to do that. Um, I'm not gonna set up a Patreon, <laughs> definitely not. I mean, I have like, what, like uh, 72 subscribers. And even if, um, I do this as fun, not really to earn money. I mean, I love my job. So there's not really a point to do that any other way. Um, so yeah, it's probably gonna stay like this way. See if there's any no. more lying around in there. Oh yeah, um, another good thing if you look around is you're gonna find part for your armadillo. That's the little shuttle that you have. And yeah, it's actually pretty nice because uh, you can't rebuild it, which is great. Uh, wait, it's pressurized at the moment. Yeah, okay. Um, we have to be careful. Just look around. Um, we have thruster here. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Um, all right. My advice, um, depressurize the room. Why? because um, you can just start cutting later on and you don't have to be scared that you accidentally blow up the ship. I'm just looking around if there is anything that I can actually use, but there's none. So we're gonna depressurize. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna depressurize this part here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the atmosphere regulator and I'm gonna cut this baby out. Why? It's gonna be 
pressurize, but it's a controlled repressurization. Um, gonna close the door. We go. That's why we still need power. But since the whole cabin is already depressurized, me, that means we're not gonna have any issues. And the good thing is, if you depressurize this part first in here, that means all the parts inside will probably not be damaged or not gonna be sucked out of the room. So, yeah, just depressurize from the whoop, valuable room to the non valuable. So, what we have now is. This room, or this part of the ship, is completely depressurized. Um, we could technically depressurize uh, the airlock, but I wouldn't do it, in my opinion. I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, just no point doing that right at the moment. Okay, let's go the cockpit. Uh, this part is already uh, depressurized, so that's fine. Uh, we can actually cut this part out. That would be great. Um, it could be that this part is... Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the other way. I can do it. Just open the door, let all the air in or out and problem solved. Um, I prefer the cutting uh, method just because it's a little bit more controlled. It can cause issues. Not gonna lie, it can. It probably won't, but it can. Uh, up to you what you prefer. Okay, uh, either way, close the doors, cut the doors out whenever possible. Um, door console I almost cut that one um, what you have to keep in mind is this ship has a lot of airlocks uh, meaning that there are airlocks over here and airlocks up here so you're gonna lose a few doors if you don't uh, pressurize the airlocks um, I well for the sake of this video, I can try to pressurize them. Um, I mean, it's it's not necessarily. It's really not necessary. I mean, the doors are not that valuable. And if you don't explode the fuel tank, then there shouldn't be any issues. Speaking of fuel tank, we're gonna go there in a bit. Yeah. First, we're still gonna finish the cockpit. Um, my advice in that section is just do one after the other. Just do one thing, like for example, uh, yeah, here we're gonna take the door panel already out. Um, do the cockpit first, or do the reactor first, finish it all, and then continue. Because you're gonna forget something. Trust me, you're gonna forget something. And if you do, it's gonna bite you in the ass. Um, uh, Let's see. Let's do this one. As you can see, now that this part is cut open, you can't use the pressurizer anymore. So make sure it's depressurized already before you start doing uh, that. Okay, that goes to the processor. Double check if there's anything valuable in there. Not. Boom. Done. Easy peasy. Okay. Um. We could do that now. Mm, I wouldn't do it. Because the thing is, we still have valuable things inside. You can depressurize it. You can do that. Um, I would do it after you take out all the valuable things inside of the cockpit. But, but in case, in case that the freaking cockpit or whatever the depressurization goes wrong, all the terminals and everything that's valuable doesn't just explode, get destroyed, whatever. 
just take out all the valuable things because you don't need it anyway. You don't need the atmospheric regulators, you don't need the terminals. The only thing you're gonna need is the block or the, the airlock console. Okay, uh, same in here. Take all the things out that you don't need, meaning especially the atmospheric generator, because that one costs a whole lot of money. There we go. Uh, you can also already start cutting this part away. Just be careful, if you cut too much away, the ship might have issues. Or, well, the, the console won't work anymore. Just so be careful that, uh, be aware that if you cut too much, it might not work anymore. I mean, let's see. Deposit confirmed. Applying and yeah, okay. As soon as you cut this part, the airlock console is not responsive anymore. So this part now is completely detached and won't work Salvage anymore. Secured. Which could be an issue if we didn't already cut everything out and already depressurize everything. But there are some ships where that hasn't been done yet and that can be an issue. Okay. Um, the thing is, we don't really have to do it. There's no point in doing it anyway. Um, okay. Uh, okay, everything is done in here. The next part is flush the fuel valve. Just in case if you cut in any of those uh, structures here, those pipes, the whole thing won't explode right away. <laughs> it's actually pretty good, so yeah, I would recommend to do that the second that you done everything inside of the ship that needs any electricity or any fuel whatsoever. Yes. Um, I'm gonna do the cockpit first. Um, I mean, door in the reactor is already cut, so that should be fine. Easy peasy. Um, there's an other variant of this ship, uh, one where you need explosive charges. This one is a little bit less complicated than the others, so it's easier to handle. Um, I still don't like this ship so much, but it's definitely easier than the other one. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you as soon as I have the explosive charges, because the thing is, if you don't have it, if you don't have that specific um, tool, you just can't process the ship. Or, well, a big part of the ship can't be processed, which means you're gonna lose money. Which makes it kinda useless to do in the first place. So just, yeah. Avoid that kind of ship as long as you can. Um, okay. Let's see, we have the lights over here. It's done. Uh, at this part, at this part, and the light over here. Just get the little things first, just in case if you forget to cut it. Well, or well, if you just throw the piece into the processor, you won't bite yourself or hit yourself because you forgot something. Whenever you have the time to just get it out, do it. Just do it. It just makes your life so much easier. Uh, be careful. The parts can kill you if you don't, if you're not careful enough. Like this part here. Just you know. Be vigilant. Not like me in the last video, I got freaking killed by the uh, thruster. Or well, not the thruster. Well, kind of like because of the thruster. But yeah, it, it happens fast, trust me. It happens extremely fast. Okay, oxygen needs to be replaced soon or refilled. Uh, here we go. By the way, um, I haven't got any. I think I made a like a poll 
on the channel, see what kind of videos you guys would want to see. Um, there wasn't any response. <laughs> I don't know if it has been seen, if I did something wrong, I don't know. Um, fact is, um, I'm not sure how I should continue the channel. I mean, I used to have a quite big variety of different games. There we go. Um, at the moment, there isn't a big variety. Uh, I'm playing Baldur's Gate, but I don't know if that's really a game that's, uh, well, made to for uh, YouTube. It's more tethers. Um, what I'm also playing at the moment, or planning to play, is uh, Starfield. Uh, maybe also say I, I don't know that uh, simple. Ah, the Japanese building game that's coming out soon, um, close to medieval medieval dynasty, just Japanese version of it. Uh, I'm definitely planning to play that. Maybe that's more suited for the channel. But uh, strategy game wise, it doesn't look amazing. I mean, I got Anno. Uh, 1800 might be interesting to try out. Um, I have I have quite a few games that might be interesting to play, but I'm just not so sure about it. Um, you go in here. Um, yeah, just let me know if there's anything specific that you would like to see. Um, of course, I have all the old Age of Empires um, games. Um, I also have the new one. Um, I'm not such a big fan of the new one, but I never finished the campaign. Could actually do that too. And since my videos got a little bit better compared to begin the beginning, might be more interesting. Not sure. Maybe. So that's an option. Uh, another option is just basically whatever comes out on the in the market, which is a lot. Um, RPGs, yeah, I love to play them. I just played uh, Wasteland 3 a while ago. But the thing is, they're not really suited for those type of videos. That's the problem. Uh, did I actually lose? No, I haven't lost anything yet. Okay. So far, we're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, um, just let me know. Um, I, I can't promise anything, of course, but I'm gonna try my best. Uh, posters. Lights. Maybe kinda cut this one open, just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, I can see there's another little light. Here we go. So, everything in this structure is cut away, which makes it easier. Um, this airlock, or those airlocks in that kind of ship, are usually pressurized. Especially, especially the double airlocks can cause a multitude of issues. So, be very careful when you deal with those. Um, I'm gonna show it, probably, at some point when we start dealing with those, but at the moment all the airlocks were depressurized, so it's not as problematic for the moment. But it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for sure. And be careful, there are lights on the airlocks sometimes, as you can see. Throw the door away. Yeah, the doors are free. Okay, uh, the airlocks are done. Check the outside of the cube for batteries and lights. Here we go. Alright. Okay, so we have the first part of the ship dismantled in a bit. Uh, just a four parts and that's it. Deposit secured. Credits awarded. Oh. oh shit. Where did I throw it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, don't do that. Don't throw stuff blindly. 
Uh, you're gonna lose it. Good thing I saw it. <laughs> Good thing it didn't flow that far. I uh, flew that far away, but yeah, just don't do this because you're gonna lose your things. You're gonna lose it for sure. If you're fast enough, it should be fine, but yeah, just be careful. Um, as you can see, the terminals have now a uh, violet point or like a uh, square. Square? Rectangle? This is square. Yeah, it's a square. Um, that means you could rip out some parts out of the terminal. Um, just be careful. Sometimes the whole thing breaks. Doesn't need to happen. Um, I gotta show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Um, just be careful because the terminals are really expensive. Yeah, as you can see. 136 thousand so mm, that's painful yeah that's really freakish painful just yeah i i would advise against it yeah sometimes you have to because some parts are just so freaking rare but um if you plan to do a 100 percent run the ship just don't do it There we go, and the last terminal is out. Oh. Here we go, and it's out. All right, what's left is the furnace cube. Just double check if everything's out. And ah, there's a little piece. Do always double check. There's another light, and if you're not sure. Well, you could use the scanner. Um, I don't upgrade the scanner. It just doesn't have a big priority for me. But if you have it, you can use it. It might be useful. Yeah. Saves a little bit of time to check. And of course, make sure that you don't accidentally throw anything that you haven't seen. Um, in that case, I'm pretty sure I did everything. Pretty sure? Uh, Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. That'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> okay, um, the airlock. You go down. Um, Salvage accepted. Credit applied. This one goes down as well. Here we go. Uh, you go processor. Thank you for. Yeah, one door, it's fine. We knew that's gonna happen. Uh, game didn't like that, whatever happened, but it's fine. Okay. So, the first part of the ship is completely dismantled. We only lost a few thousand dollars. Yeah, I know it's at 142,000, but that was the terminal that we destroyed. Oh well, I destroyed on purpose just to get some parts out of it. Okay, so next thing, this one, the fuel clam. Um, this one is a freaking pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. Um, don't use the secondary fire mode. Just don't do it. It's just gonna blow up in your face. Just cut it all apart very nicely. If you got the fuel out of the system, get the get the thrusters out. Or the engines, in that case. And in the worst case, if you cut one of the pipes, nothing happens. So you're safe. So, so do that first. Or in the beginning. Don't start cutting around without having the fuel uh, out of the uh, pipes. That's just gonna cause way more issues than you want. Here we go. This one goes fairly easy. Oh, this one is fairly easy. Oh my, my English sucks today. Oh my god. It just really sucks. 
Uh, either way, uh, what was I? Yeah, uh, this part is actually quite easy as soon as you fill up, put all the fuel out. Um, oh, there's still one. There you go. Uh, the biggest issue is, as a matter of fact, the fuel tank. I don't know if they fixed the ship, but it always caused a real, real headache to get rid of that fucking thing. Salvage deposit secured. Okay, um, the fuel pipe is all fine. Yeah, we That's all done. And... Here we go. Um, my advice... Cut really close and be very careful. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, the fuel tank is now loose, more or less. Uh, we gotta do the engines first, though, just in case if anything goes wrong, the engines are safe. And they are really expensive. Not gonna lie. So do those first, just save yourself the headache if anything goes wrong. As I said, just get everything that you can get out, do it. And then in the end do all the dangerous things, like for example the reactor, the fuel tanks and so on. Because those things, they might and probably will explode at some point. That's just gonna happen anyway. So if it happens, at least you'll get some money out of it. I mean, this is the free mode. Um, it's a little bit less hectic. If you're playing on time, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this one is passing out. Um, so yeah, just save yourself the headache. Um, you can be cheeky. You cut all of them like this. Um, you can't cut the, those structures. You can only cut the furnace. Uh, parts So there are a little bit annoying um, Okay, the biggest issue here is to get those things out In one piece that is um, They are a little bit annoying um, You can just destroy this structure here uh, that's actually one of the first things that I would recommend to do. Yeah, it takes away a little bit of money, but it's just aluminum, so it's not that valuable. And it stops, or it doesn't obstruct the pipes anymore. Technically, if you wriggle it around the right way, you could take it out. Like, for example, this one here. And yeah, we already got the first one. Perfect. Okay, gonna get the oxygen. Um, yeah, this part, it's a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. Um, it's gonna take some time and it's gonna take some effort to get it all out. Uh, so, if, yeah, well, if you don't care, just skip this part. Um, Maybe I don't want to skip in the video itself. If you do care, well, just take your time. It's, it's gonna take some time anyway. Uh, you'd rather do this a little bit slower and actually make sure that nothing explodes around you. There we go. But it's worth the money. Uh, yeah, alternatively, just cut it apart. If you don't have the, the booster to do it, I completely understand. It can be a big pain in the ass. Go. Oh. Alternatively, well, you, if you already dismantle part of the ship, you can just take it out like that. That's new. Oh, I also learned something today. Here we go. Well. That makes it a lot easier. Um, you go in there. This one is pretty heavy. The fuel tank goes out here. 
Go. We actually got a really, really bad thing out. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Okay, never mind. Uh, they changed it. Before it was all connected, so you really had to cut your way through everything. Um, seems like it's more loose now. Um, it's actually fairly easy compared to before. I mean, not gonna lie, this is this is this is freaking easy. I freaking hated this ship before. Credits deposited. Seriously hated it. Deposit accepted for processing. Okay. Um, fine. Yeah. Like it. Okay. Um, well. Same shtick over here. Just cut apart all the sides. Be careful. Do not cut anywhere that you don't want to cut. Don't cut the reactor. Obviously. Uh, that's gonna cause a lot of issues. And don't take the reactor out until the very, very end. There we go. Uh, for those parts, I just recommend that you use the secondary mode. It just goes so much smoother. And it actually damages the ship, or well, your tools a little bit less. And since those are all processor parts, they can't be cut anyway. As you can see, it just goes so much faster. Take out any lights that you can see. Processor deposit accepted. Credits there we go. Ah, all right. This, that one is still attached to something. That's fine. Salvage deposited. Applying and take out the airlock. The more we cut out, the easier it gets. Because now we don't have any issues taking the ship apart. Everything is to be pressurized, so we can just cut at our heart's desire. No problem. Here we go. And... Header. The door. And... Take out the door console just in case. Uh, that we can throw in there. Yep, alright. So that's all done. Throw this in here. And this one here. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> it's a lot easier than before. And salvage goal achieved, perfect. Ah, oh, here's another part, the dampener. Nice. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, you can technically make a life a little bit easier by just cutting out the part here at the bottom, just uh, opening up the whole thing. Um, you can do that. Uh, you don't have to, though. It's just if for your convenience. Um, for my sake, well, I don't do it because it's gonna lose some money. So, it's, yeah, it's convenient. It's pure convenience. If you can wait a, bit, a little bit or you can handle just cutting around for a while, don't do it. Just, yeah, it's not really worth it. I mean, some parts are a little bit annoying to get out, but just wiggle it a bit and pop us off. Here we go. Alright. This part is also done. And this part should be done too. Take out the light. Yeah, aluminum, I know. But we don't care about the aluminum. We care about those parts. Uh, sometimes it happens that parts get tangled. 
If that happens, just give it a good push and prop this off. Here we go. Oh. Well, it doesn't help, of course, if you actually put it on both sides. <laughs> um, yeah, at this point, you can just take out the reactor, throw it in, problem solved, easy peasy. I mean, the reactors at this point, I think the easiest part. Thruster. Well, that didn't work. Um, oxygen reserves low. Link this part. Gentle exercise to blood oxygen yeah, we need oxygen. I know, I know, I know. Uh, we're gonna be fine. And the Okay! Alright! Easy... Easy... Huh? Please don't f go, uh, fall in there. Didn't see you there. Okay. Just make sure it all falls in inside of the processor. Um, yeah, I've got over 1% crap. Well, I mean, 0.8% was the freaking terminal. Take out another light. And so take like technically if we did, wouldn't have done this, we have 0.3% damages. Or well lost salvage. <coughs> Which is pretty good. Pretty good. Um you gotta lose some salvage. It's just gonna happen. But 0.3%, that's neglectable. Go. That goes into the furnace. That. Oh. Uh, sometimes. Oh yeah. Sometimes the batteries they're still charged, but they do cause some issues. Can happen. Doesn't need to happen. Uh, just be careful. Got an achievement. Nice. With all the lights. Uh, the table you can just leave because it goes to the furnace anyway. Um, well, you could technically cut out the glass. Um, I wouldn't do it. Because glass is extremely valuable. You don't want to cut any bit of it. If you really want to, just cut. When I mean, you can be lazy and just go for like this, 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 and this. There we go. Technically, the parts should come out. Uh, it could be that because the stuff is still adjusted there. Here we go. Uh, yeah. In that case, you have to cut out the table. Or take out the table. Don't forget the chair. Here we go. Do the terminal. Yeah, it, it does go much faster if you do it like that. Um, in my opinion, cut the thing, don't burn it. Uh, it's still gonna give you some loss, but more neglectable. Um, 
seems like we've got everything. Yep. All door panels. Yep. Door panels. Yep. Okay. Uh, I actually can just blow the, all the tethers because who cares? Just make sure it actually flies into the furnace. And that's it! Now you can just watch the bar going up. Yeah, the door, of course. And... Ah. This one didn't go down. Uh, just double check the barge. Sometimes things like, yeah, shipping crates, they don't go down all the way. Especially if you don't have to upgrade the tethers. Just double check it. Because, uh, yeah, that's easy money. Here we go. Okay, we have... Yeah, 1.1%. 0 0.3% uh, lost salvage. Perfect. Okay, get the oxygen, get the tethers, and we're done with the shift. Alright. Um, as I said, don't destroy the salvage, not really worth it. Really not. Uh, yeah. Not actually almost everything. Yeah, the computer terminal was the most uh, expensive one. Panel, aluminum doors, ETA structures. Yeah, really neglectable. And if you get everything, you should always up um, not upgrade, uh, level up, I mean. Okay, we're level 10. Perfect. Alright, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below uh, if you want to see more of it or anything else. And of course, please leave a like. It's really gonna help with the whole algorithm. And yeah, well, see you next time. Thank you very much.